Hi, I'm Trey Wilcox and you're watching Two Minutes with Trey. Expect to see me working with some of my favorite ingredients and showing you the best techniques, recipes, and how to execute them. So this reduction is still that. And so what I have in here is I have shallots, three types of corns. I have pink peppercorns, coriander seeds, and fennel seeds. I toasted those off real quick, throw them into the pan, rough chop on the shallots, bay leaves, and I'm going to reduce this by half. When it reduces, it's the same thing, evaporation. It concentrates and the flavors get stronger. Once that happens, then I'm going to add cream to that. And when I add the cream mixture to that, what's that gonna do is blending a family together. They all meet and everyone starts to go, hey, who are you and you know, what's going on? You know, and they combine and that begin to reduce that liquid too. The cream is gonna be what's gonna stay, be the stabilizing portion of it because I'm gonna mount it with some good old butter at the end. But to help make that butter not separate or break, you have to have the cream to whisk it into, okay? freeze of uh, a protein and you freeze the fat molecules in it once you thaw it out and you see all this liquid that's on my board once you thaw it out and it goes to a certain temperature the fat begins to dissolve and it comes out of the fish as well and fish is just like steak it needs fat to be good you know that buttery that deliciousness that comes from fat number one thing you got to do is blot it dry letting it sit out like this is called tempering You always want to make sure you place the fish in the oil and don't splash, no drop. So I generally lift my fish up one time after it goes into the pan to make sure the oil goes underneath the fish, okay? You know, sometimes you got to keep things in simplicity where you have the discipline to know to stop. You know, you do all the cook, cook, saute with the peas and the, you know, succotash and the garlic, the sauce is all fancied up and it's got all the shallots and the stuff in it. Sometimes at that point it's too overwhelming if I said, now I'm going to put this cool crust and the seasoning on my sea bass and then it just overwhelms the palate. So, you know, you just got to know when to stop and let the purity of some ingredients just shine. 